Welcome to another episode of Open Mic. I'm Mark Murphy, CEO of Lattle Software. Today I'm joined with a new guest, Justin Scott, Chief Growth Officer at Lattle Software. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. So, Justin, today's topic is about data. Okay. And you know, as we're out talking to customers, regardless if we're talking about our software, CPQ or CRM, the power of data is something that any transformation initiative has to be talking about. Sure. So, you know, as you think about data in our platform and how we're going out and talking to customers, um, you know, how do you view visualization and how we're capturing data? And then what should our customers think about on harnessing that data, the power of the data, and where the value where really lies across our transformation efforts? Yeah, that's a big topic. So I think uh how I think about it is, you know, in popular uh, published blogs and, and syndications, data is the new oil, right? And so visualizing products is actually visualizing data, which is driving a better buying experience. And that's, that's the first order solve that, that we try to accomplish here at Atlatl. Um, secondly, it's the data in your sales processes, processes your, your operational structure, uh, the time that it takes to get a quote out. And so we're shrinking that that data time distance from a month to, to a couple of days. And that, that really affects the OEM structure on what I would call revenue optimization. And then if you extrapolate that out to the dealer networks or the partnership networks, you have the OEM that sells products through the dealer network. And that's, um, that's always been a large source of revenue, but been pretty opaque in the ability to understand where that revenue is coming from year over year. So with our tool, you have the ability to combine, combine OEM data sales as well as the network sales. And the combination of those two data patterns, uh, patterns will, will help the OEM operate more efficiently um, and really understand patterns in uh, supply chain management as well, as well as growth. So as they look at their investment in our tools, they get the ROI based on increased sales but Correct. they should think about a secondary ROI of what they can do with that data yeah. afterwards. And I would say there's, a, there's an ROI in the long-term effect of machine learning, meaning if you're not storing the data now, then you will never be able to mine that data in the future. Right. And so if you have this data lake between OEMs and your network, um, you're storing that data in a place where potentially you can run AI over the top of all of it. Um, and what you will see there in the next 10 years is predictive sales, uh, predictive pricing in CPQ, which looks at um, not just the output of a price, but uh, either a higher price or lower price based on the behavioral pattern of this customer. And so the, the thing that we talk about from the consulting side of Atlatl is Make sure you're getting the data now because you don't know what machine learning can be able to do for your business in the future. Excellent. Great. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Thanks for having me. Reach out to us. We'd love to continue this discussion at, at latlsoftware.com.